Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be making some salt dough, which is uh, super, super fun. We made this um, in second grade in December and we actually made some really awesome self-portrait ornaments with it. So I'll try and link some pictures of those around here. Um, but I'm so excited to teach you how to make salt dough. It's super easy. All you need is flour, salt, and warm water. Three things, super simple, and I'm gonna teach you a really small, or do a really small recipe today, and you can make it as big or as small as you want. It's a pretty easy ratio of two parts flour to one part salt and one part water. So, all you need are those three things. I have a bowl to mix them in, and then I have a quarter cup scoop. My half cup scoop is in our dishwasher right now, um, so we're gonna do our math with this cup scoop. Ooh. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to reach into my flour bag and I need four scoops of flour. I'm gonna do one cup of flour and this is a quarter cup, so I need four of them. Four scoops of flour. One cup. Here we go. All right, now that I have my about one cup of flour in here, I need a half a cup of salt. So you can use kind of any salt that you have. These are like 50 cents at the grocery store. A bag of flour is like a dollar or two. If you're able to get out to the grocery store, you can. Um, if not, you know, this is just something maybe you can practice a little bit later. So since I have my quarter cup and I need a half a cup, I'm gonna do two scoops of a quarter cup because a quarter cup plus a quarter cup equals a half a cup. All right. So I'm gonna fill this up. All right. Now I have made a lot of salt dough in the last year. So my best tip is to mix up your salt and flour before you add your water. So I'm gonna mix it up. All right, so I've got my flour and salt pretty mixed up. Now I'm going to add my water, and I'm going to add a half a cup of warm water. Now, it needs to be warm because that helps um, the flour and the salt stick together and become a sticky type of salt dough. If you use cold water, it just won't work as well. Um, so warm water it is. So I've poured in a half a cup of warm water in here already, so I'm gonna dump it in to my salt and flour mix. And as my students will tell you, uh, this kind of feels like Play-Doh. It kind of feels like pizza dough. That is the kind of consistency that you're going for. So I'm just gonna use my hands and we're gonna get a little bit of messy in here and that's all good because this is super easy cleanup because it's just flour and salt and water. And I'm just gonna start to mix them together. Knead my salt dough. It's gonna get really sticky to your hands. Definitely don't wear long sleeves like me. So let's mix. So we can take our salt dough and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, it's really fun to sculpt with. You can take off pieces and stick them together. If you want them to stick together a little bit better, just dip your finger in a little touch of water and you can um, help it kind of stick it together like you're using slip if you've ever done anything with clay before um, Now this will start to kind of fall apart the more and more that you play with it So my best tip is to work quick While you're working with this if you don't want to use it right away You can also put it in a sealed container and leave it in your refrigerator for up to about five days And you can take it out and use it um, as well, but if you put it in your refrigerator, my students will also tell you you've got to wear it quick while it's still cold Otherwise once it starts to get warm, it gets really 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 sticky So work with it right when you've made it or use it after you, right after you've taken it out of the refrigerator So here's a bonus tip if you have any cookie cutters like I have this giant thing of cookie cutters you can roll out your salt dough and cut it out with cookie cutters. You can use any kind of utensils to decorate and add extra texture. And then what you can do is you just leave your salt dough out to dry. Um, I've left mine for up to a week to two weeks at a time. It helps really dry out. You can flip it back and forth every day um, to make sure the air is getting to all places. Or I've been told that you can bake it in the oven at 200 degrees for about two hours and it'll help it harden up as well. It's up to you which way you would like to choose. Make sure you put it on parchment paper. You don't want it to stick 
to any trays if you're going to bake it. And if you put it on parchment paper, it won't melt in the oven um, and it'll peel right off once it's all the way dry. There's my pro tip. I'm gonna get started with my big jar of cookie cutters creating what I can with my salt dough. Have a great day.